Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Starbound, a vanilla Let's Play tutorial series. So I left off raiding a bit of a dungeon for a lot of loot. One of the things I want to do is immediately stash away the item that I need for a collection quest later on, the Grand Avian Sarcophagus. So right-clicking on this stack here pulls one out rather than left-clicking, which is the whole stack, and you just keep right-clicking for each additional uh, each additional item in the stack. Now the rest of this stuff I can go ahead and sell because I don't really intend to build a sarcophagus styled uh, dungeon thing. Alright, another thing I wanted to do is crank out a moth trap or two. I know it's costing me tungsten bars, but one of the beautiful things about these moth traps is they very very passively generate silks and I'm going to need silks later on. Um, all right, what else do I have going on? I do have some uh, suggestions from you all. So one of the suggestions is that I look out for a Lumoth. This is from uh, Justin. A Lumoth is a pet that you can capture uh, that generates light. So one of the one of the things that happens here is, as you can see on my back, I have got a. Uh, two items on my back that are both at the moment cosmetic. Actually, I'm going to pull one of them out. I'm going to sell the spacesuit backpack and actually going to get rid of the cape as well. Um, so these back items here, what you end up being able to craft later on is a breathing um, protection pack, and viral protection pack that helps you protect you initially from no breathable atmosphere and then eventually from things like cold and fire. Um, but then also... It, there is some back armor that allows you to produce light. So if we take a look here at the Explorer Lantern, um, the Explorer Lantern is a one-hander that you produces light. And then you can stick the Explorer Lantern on a lantern stick, which is a backpack that produces light. And I, I intend to do this because I know that um, it's very dark uh, sometimes and you guys can't really see. So if I want to make an Explorer's Lantern, I need to find oil. And then additionally, I need to unlock the expansion slot to collect liquids, which I will spend my next three Manor Manipulator modules to do just that. Um, so now, with this Manor Manipulator, oh, that's this is the wrong key. <laughs> with my Manor Manipulator, I'm going to be able to, um, uh, to gather liquids, which will allow me to make such a lantern. Uh, the other tip I had is from uh, Nicolay, Nicolay mentioned that if I do find cotton, I need to harvest it with the matter manipulator, so I, I pull up the entire plant, not just harvesting it, which is a good point. Um, I don't know if I ended up finding uh, cotton the last episode, the episode before, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel to a new forest world and look for Florin, because of course, a little reminder of my journal. Uh, look for floor and artifacts. And then, of course, a little reminder about what we're looking for. We're also looking for that floor and statue with the spear as well. Um, and we are also looking for cotton. And, of course, matter manipulators, tech cards, those kinds of things as well. Uh, oh, and here you go. You can see that um, the moth trap already produced some silk fibers. Uh, and... These silk fibers are going to be mightily useful later on. Uh, another thing I'm going to probably need pretty soon is um, some storage. So right now I'm going to ditch some of what is in my backpack that I don't think I'm going to need going down to where I'm going. Um, like these bones and stuff. I'm going to ditch them so that I free up space for the possibility of harvesting uh, and, and storing more items. Um... But one of the first things I want to build is uh, significant storage space. So before I actually beam down to the planet, I'm going to beam down to the um, teleshop and sell some of the cosmetics that I've obtained. Or some of the uh, furniture and the like. Um, also curious, how many tech cards do I have? Four? Alright, so the telemart, it doesn't really matter who I sell it to. I can also buy a Telemart later on, but um, I digress. So let's go ahead and ditch 
really all of this. And I do notice that my character is hungry. So all of that um, looting got me about 1,800 pixels. It's not terrible. It's not a ton, but it's not terrible. Uh, some of this other stuff no one even wants. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I don't even have cooked food. Well, I have canned food. But I obviously need to do a little bit of cooking too. So I would say the first tech I'm really going to want is like sprint or multi-jump. Uh, so I need four more tech cards for that. I'm sort of curious what uh, what Frog Furnishings is offering today. Uh, cabin type stuff. Okay. Beating up. And now we have to go actually land above the planet. And you can see here, uh, each of these manufacturing facilities can be upgraded. So my innovator table can be upgraded with glass that I'm missing, or titanium, or durasteel. Some of them are really, really expensive. Titanium again. Um, so this is just the the sort of process, the natural progression of leveling up in the light. Oh, hello. There's immediately someone trying to murder me. I don't know who you are, but if you're trying to kill me, I know what to do. Bunch of throwing daggers as well. So I am potentially looking for uh, cotton. Don't mind some carrots. This rugged terrain make it hard to land good hits. attempt to cast as much light as I can here so here's a campfire and I'm going to cook the food that I have now these are very very basic recipes they're not um, there are some specialty recipes none of which I'm really interested right now in going for because I don't have a lot of the uh, ingredients but um, this will do And both cotton and a florin village would be found on the overworld. So I'm not going to go subterranean for this, which means I'm not really going to... I'm going to limit my ability to find um, tech cards and mana manipulators, which are usually underground. Not always, but usually. And any crop I absolutely want... Like, let's say I absolutely wanted the tomato. I could rip it up for the seeds. But, um... I got in a bit of a fight here, didn't I? I hate those things. Also, wouldn't be terrible for me to find oil, uh, you know, maybe in a puddle or something. The uh, terrain of this world is pretty rugged. Um, I foresee, well, I could also just, platform it. I'm gonna need to 
to uh, harvest some trees if I'm going to continue to platform my way up. Now, the danger of doing this is, uh, well, if I fall, oof, that's going to hurt, right? Oh, there was rice seed. Rice is uh, one of the plants that's really, really, really easy to grow. Um, so a lot of people subsist primarily on rice-based diets. Um, if they can't be bothered to, uh, to to plant more complex plants, more difficult plants. So rice is a really good just sort of, hey, I just, I just need to fill my belly with some basic nutrients type plant. So getting some rice seed is really helpful in that regard. So corn and pearl peas, and I'll, I'll pull up the seeds. But, um, because, uh, be, and there's some more rice. Because of the settings that we have here, um, I am queued to, uh, I'm queued to build a, a like, post-apocalyptic colony on a very, very difficult world. So I'm not really going to be farming anytime soon unless I have more room on my in my ship, which I currently don't have, or uh, I have a colony, which is going to happen much later in the game. So farming is something I'm, I'm not even going to pretend to do uh, until those needs are met, which may be a while. All right, so now it's becoming daytime. It's possible the monsters become a little less hostile. Unless, of course, I nuke them. Alright, let's, uh... Let's stop fighting everything and just... Try to traverse the world a little bit faster. Now, there's other ways to traverse the world. There are some, um... Some vehicles that you can make use of. Uh, but I find them a little difficult to use and they break constantly. So they're really, they're a pretty imperfect solution, in my opinion. Uh, your ability to make them work for you may differ from my own. That's just my uh, two cents. Oh, here's some cotton, perfect. So we got, oh, I don't even have room for the seeds. Well, that's a problem. I'm going to delete some of the uh, prepared food and... Right. As much as I want to just focus on travel, having those guys nipping at my heels. Alright, so now we have some cotton seed. Uh, and that is going to allow us to plant some. Now, I, I did say I'm not really going to focus on farming, but we're that... Where that differs is I will set up like a basic little cotton farm. Um, really, mostly out of necessity. Okay, so here we go. This doesn't look promising. Now, this is not a dungeon like the last one where I stole all their furniture, all their um, sarcophaguses and whatnot. But, uh, oh, hey there. That is a very, very expensive cosmetic. A 5,000 legendary level cosmetic. Uh, and no one was around to see me steal it, so... Does a bear poop in the woods? In this case, no. Reward, mystery bag. I might pick up um, quests if their rewards were just mystery bags, but seeing that... Um... Ooh, matter manipulator and tech card. Okay, I don't want to steal their pearl peas. Uh, seeing that, um... Let's read this. Codex already known. Alright, I'm just going to leave it. Come on, guys. Did you kill all the Florins? Why can't I find Florence for the life of me? Uh, I might try to dig that one up too, given the last one was like a legendary. I don't think anyone's watching right now. Got 
kind of get a little closer. And it's a meta manipulator module, so worth it. Just got to be careful who's who's watching you. Uh, I'm gonna climb to see if there's any quests. There is not. There's just these codex books about their culture. And there is a way to... It's a bit gut-wrenching, I'll be honest. A bit gut-wrenching. But a, uh, a way for you to mitigate fall damage is just to jump. Okay, these guys are staring at this treasure chest pretty intently. No one sees me here, though. And it is a two-handed spear with energy whirl. Uh, we'll take a look at that compared to the sword I already have. Now, they only they only judge you for um, the theft that they see, but once you have stolen, they aren't going to, um, you know, they have to catch you red-handed is I guess what I'm trying to say. Alright. Now, hopefully, hopefully... I'll be able to find some Florin towns. Everything has been all the same style. Oh, and some more cosmetic. Very, very expensive uh, cosmetic crap. Hope am I having a good day? I am. But quit, quit following me. It's, it's getting a little weird. That's what Energy World looks like. Yeah, I like the spear a little bit more than the sword, maybe. Yo, lady, you, I'm... Stop it. Right, I'm also looking for any additional cotton, because getting more than one cotton seed would help jumpstart a cotton farm. Oops. Didn't mean to break the line there. I should make more rope, to be honest. Let's go do that. Stupid cultists. And throwing spears. Alright. How many wood platforms can I make? Okay, that's a whole bunch. Perfect. My hunt for Florin towns looking pretty sad upgrade module now upgrade modules are a little less important when you intend to crew your ship rather than just buy pirate licenses uh, so there's two ways to to expand your ship size one is to um, buy pirate licenses uh, for the cost of um, upgrade modules and that's a perfectly valid way to do it. And the other one is to just recruit crew from side missions and the like. Both are fine, but one costs upgrade modules and the other doesn't as much. Now, upgrade modules still have a use, uh, even if you're going the crude route, because it makes, uh, it makes certain weapons and stuff like that. This is starting to look very florin, so tell me that I'm not traveling to a village, please. My food is filled up. I'll just eat. Again, I'm not all that interested in the uh, individual combat. But I don't think this planet is going to yield another town. 
I think as soon as I find one town, I should cut my losses. Sometimes there can be two settlements on, on one planet, but often there's just the one. I think this is where I started. Yep. We just circled, I believe we just circled the entire planet. It doesn't take very long to circle the entire planet when you're exploring like that. All right, let's heal up, collect our silks, collect our cores, and travel over here, because this has two forest planets that we're looking for. And um, I, well, so taking a look at my cotton seed, wow, already got more silks, I'm, I'm about that, taking a look at my cotton seed, hmm, I really, really, really don't have space anywhere to, uh, to farm it on this ship, because I am super cramped as it is. I could, uh, let's see. I'll do what I can. Now, not all objects are going to be able to fit up there. Like, this doesn't actually physically fit. So only some can go in the top rail. Um, but if I was to farm, what would I need? I would need dirt... Locks like that, and then I need a hoe, which we're going to be able to make with string, which we get from here. There's my hoe, and let's go with a wooden watering can for now. All right, so let's grab the hoe here. Uh, I will bind it over here. Oh, and while I'm staring at this, let's make some torches. As you can see, you click to till, pretty straightforward, and then I'm just going to put down two rice plants. So one of the reasons why rice is really useful, not the only reason, uh, you can put them really, 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 really close to one another, whereas you can see the, um, the cotton requires a little bit more space. And then let's go and uh, grab my water can. And water my plants. I do, this water can has infinite water, but there we go. Eventually, eventually, you'll unlock a, a water sprinkler that does it automatically for you and you don't have to manually do it. And there are different growth stages. Plants take a different amount of time each to fully grow. Um, but that's sort of the long and short of it. I'm actually going to put my hoe away because I'm not going to need that uh, really at all. Um... And I am going to, before I go to the planet that I uh, am going to try to search for flora and artifacts, I'm going to go back to town and sell off some of the things I've acquired um, so I can, I have more inventory space. So selling bombs, selling my old sword. Uh, this one-hander I still want. Uh, all of these cosmetics, because I don't care for cosmetics, I'd rather have the money. As far as buying, so the really important ones would be the ice and fire, um, because they give you things that you're going to need later on. Um, but I could also, well, you know what, I can also sell some of the food I have, because I am stuffed full of food. So let's do that. They don't have a ton of resale value. Alright, I'm gonna keep the carrots. But anything that looks like it's going to um, spoil anytime soonish, I can ditch. 
Like, see, these Cocoa Pods, uh, 1,600 credits for them, right? I mean, that, that's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. But I'm just trying to sell some of the food so I can just literally free up space for more later. Uh, but things like seeds, what I ought to do is um, put them away in my uh, my storage here so that when it comes time to actually plant stuff like a farm later on, I have uh, a nice abundance of seeds so that I can plant what I want. Realistically, I think I'm only going to plant like rice and cotton. It, de it Actually, cotton even depends on uh, whether or not I... Um, I need it later on, but uh, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go beam down to the current orbited world and hope that it's not just another Aztec town down here, because that would be upsetting. But hey, maybe maybe we find some more cotton for the uh, for the bear we promised to to make. Sort my weapons out. There we are. So as you can see, I am just bypassing stuff like tomatoes. Hey, more benditos. I think you were collateral, buddy. I didn't mean to hit you. module. Now, of course, I could make my own uh, farm or, or uh, campfire or just pull that one up. I don't need hay. Well, this is... Is that a one-hander? Yes. Alright, so I'll show you why I like one-handers. So now I have two one-handers like that, and I will put my double spear over here. So two one-handers, the beauty of this, oh, in Pixel Hero Pants. That's, a, again, a legendary cosmetic. As you can see, um, probably by how easy it is for me to get oodles and oodles and oodles of money, it's not hard to get oodles and oodles and oodles of money. Um, it's offered up all the time. Uh, what's important is that you don't fall to your death and lose it, because depending on your difficulty, there might be death penalties. And then also, um, if you are trying to collect a little bit of everything, hi little mushroom man, if you try to collect a little bit of everything, you know, all the cosmetics and stuff, you're going to lose out a ton of um, money potential. So right here, there's a ton of mushrooms. This is like a little mushroom town, and I'm just collecting them because they're all cook ingredients. Now this is, um, there are primary, how to call them, I guess primary races, where the cultivator gifted out to, um, gift out the keys, but then there's a bunch of secondary races, like these little mushroom guys. They're not playable races, um, you know, there's mushrooms, there's frogs, so on and so forth, but they, they exist, but not as, uh, not as playable. That's probably enough mushrooms for me. So that's the kind of stun lock I'm talking about. Where that toucan or whatever got attacked so often it wasn't really able to retaliate. Oh, ouch. Stupid barbs. There's a chest underground that I'm going to want. Two tech cards and some batteries. Uh, I think those tech cards, yes, those tech cards give me enough to unlock Sprint, which is going to help me search these uh, search these planets for Florin villages much, much more quickly. And what is that, one-hander? 
The axe is unlike the um unlike the little swords or daggers that I have, the axes have a charge up, so you can't just hold down the attack buttons and expect to stab like I am now. So you have to time it. Whereas the the little swords that I use, um, you don't have to time anything. You just hold down the attack and they just attack, attack, attack forever. And more tip cards. And also silicon boards. Nice. Alright, come on, Indiana. Let's go and get out of here. So I might invest in one of the vehicles just to help me traverse these planets more quickly. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to have this hard of a time finding my first floor in anything. This is, uh... It's not... that unfortunate luck, but it is... It's not great luck, either. Ouch. This dude is whooping my butt. Coffee beans. Yeah, I'll stick that plant. Revenge! Yeah, Tsukazi so was entirely stun locked and unable to retaliate. That was pretty close to death. Ouch. I accidentally double jumped. Some, uh, Avismingo. I'll take the seeds. Any novel new plant I find, I might as well grab the seeds. Oh, you're not hostile? And, uh, unfortunately, this is also not the village I'm looking for. So if we take a look at the, um, the things to collect over here, uh... I believe we might find a traditional gong here, but I could also scan, um, I can also scan for stuff. I'm actually going to put the, the books back once I read them. Just underground, there is obviously a extensive um, mushroom cave system. Here's some vending machines that has uh, all sorts of foods if I wanted to buy them. And this is a shopkeep. This shopkeep can sell me some stuff. So the mercenary plate that I'm being offered here is identical in stats to the current one I have on. So it's not going to be better. Uh, also selling a grenade launcher. The Puddle Chest Guard, again, not better. A one-hander pistol, uh, I'm going to do without. Oh, but let me poke into this chest. Take your tech cards and Manor Manipulator module. You, you're not going to miss it, right? So I'm just, I'm just scanning everything... Just so that I have the knowledge of crafting. But, uh, this obviously is not a Florin. A Florin town. Quest. Sure, I will deliver a message. To Yuko. Wait, you can't decide where Yuko is. Is Yuko standing right next to you? Oh my god, she was. Well, these quests are pretty quick. Get a floral ornament. Uh, deliver the floral ornament to this guy. Or gal. And I got my reward bag. Which was... 15 torches. Okay. That was uh, really, really quick errands, I gotta say. I'm surprised they didn't do it themselves. Uh, what about you? What do you have? Um, 
go escort someone for a reward bag? Nope. I'll need one diamond. Nope. I don't have any diamonds, and I'm not about to start digging for them. So, uh, I did mention, as soon as I hit one village, I was going to pull the ripcord and forget searching the rest of that village. And, uh... I haven't even scanned my own things that I've made. So here we go. As you can see, the plants, the farming plants that I, I started have all matured uh, by one. Grew a little bit bigger, but uh, require rewatering. There we go. Rewatered them. Uh, let's head over to the other moon. Oh, this was, uh, no, that was forest. They're both forest. I'm just getting very bad luck. That's fine. All right. I haven't filled my inventory enough to feel like I need to uh, ditch stuff. Um, so let's just keep going. I will drop off those petals, though. Beaming down. And, oh, you know what? Before I uh, start exploring this place, let me go spend my tech cards. So I'm going to go down to the teleshop portal and head over to Mr. Tech. Now, there's two things I could do here. Oh, put my weapons away. One is to buy the sprint tech and then I have it equipped. So I can pick between dash or sprint. So sprint looks like this. You double tap in one direction and you just start sprinting. It really, really, really helps uh, you traverse terrain. And then the other thing is... Um, I don't have enough to buy a vehicle yet yet I'm looking at things I could potentially sell I don't actually have that much to of worth to sell but a, a hover bike allows you to rapidly traverse terrain as well uh, but of course it's expensive, and I don't have the expenses yet. All right, let's beam down to the world. And now, at least, we have sprint. So I'll be able to sprint traverse, which is a little quicker. As you can see, it does burn my energy. Uh, but with these one-hander blades that I have, I don't. these blades don't even require energy to fight. You know, they don't have a special capability or anything, so... It's not like I'm... Uh, Sacrificing my attack for speed or anything. Again, not super interested in fighting everything. Nope, oh, so this is a wandering merchant. And you've got some... Oh, your helmet... Was that helmet better than mine? It was. I'm going to buy it. And then I'm going to equip it, but I'm going to leave my current helmet as the cosmetic slot. So this raises my attack a little bit. And, well, it raises all my stats. But primarily attack. So previously I was doing 8 damage a swing. Now I'm doing 9. Because of that uh, samurai styled helmet that you saw me grab. Uh, the one handers are also really good at uh, killing those little rock. I forget what they're called, but those little rock monsters that turtle up once you hit them because it stun locks them. Blink explosion. I'll check that out. And tough chest wear, uh, which is a cosmetic that I can sell. Mm -hmm. 
So this has a try attack styled moves. Come on, Florence. Please, Florence. Give me some good news. If I wanted to collect water, here, as you can see, I can collect water with my matter manipulator that was upgraded. Not all that helpful. I mean, water's fine, but it's where the healing water they had, uh, what was it, last episode? Would be pretty good to collect if I wanted to put healing water down. Uh, but once you have water, um, you can always dump it like this and place it down like that. It's just like really any other resource, but in this instance, it abides by, uh, by gravity, I guess. And again, it's another mushroom forest. There's lots of boxes for me to search, but I'm only going to search the ones that are really convenient. Uh, what was that, another one-hander? So this is damage per swing 5.8, rate of fire uh, 1.7. The higher the better. So 1.7 is slower than my current blades, so I'm not going to trade up. The attack speed is more useful than... Um, well, that attack speed makes the one-hander uh, useful. Of course, it's very limited range and doesn't have a special attack, so it's not a perfect solution for all fights. You're going to want a variety, as I've mentioned, but... Uh, it's one of my favorite defaults. Unless you get something that's really, really, really powerful. Oh, there's a treasure down here. Laden with traps. Oh, and it just has some bio samples. I was trolled! Not a whole lot of plants on this uh, surface. Oh, and it's glitch. Uh, we already have the suit of armor that we needed from uh, searching a glitch town. Uh, so I might just hit some of these boxes, because there we go. There's a monocle, a legendary um, item that uh, we can go ahead and sell. And a matter manipulator module. And two hander with flying slash. What's flying slash look like? Like that, okay. So yeah, I mean, I'm here just to make a quick buck. Mm. Hello. You could help me by not standing right in front of the chest that has the gun in it. Because if I was able to buy a hover bike, I could search for the Florin ruins a little bit more quickly. So it would benefit me in a way. Another one-hander that I can sell. I'm not really searching for the books here. Even though there's a lot of codexes because, well, we all know. I don't, I don't tend to read them, so... Hey, but you have a quest. I will hunt the beast that, uh, yeah, I'll take that quest. I'm tired of searching for Florin. And I'm going to run this episode probably a little long, uh, just finishing up the, the side quests that I just undertook. Oh, another legendary. This is a rope whip. Uh, rope whips are kind of a fun, um weapon they have a uh, they have a sweet spot attack that'll I'll demo as soon as there's someone to attack where when you strike if the rope cr uh, cracks on your target they just take a lot more damage um, and obviously I didn't scan anything here but it wasn't uh, it wasn't wild west styled so so rope whips uh, are also a one-hander so Try to demo. Just need to get closer. There we go. Not my best work, but 
Oh, ow, that one's a little fire. This rope whip is a little underpowered. Sometimes when you get rope whips, they're like legendary and they do amazing damage. Okay, more fire. I should have seen that coming. But I just get get some cosmetics. It's, uh, this jacket. This I'm gonna sell. This I'm gonna sell. And here is the monster that I've been told to hunt. Done. All right, let's turn back, turn this in, and uh, try to purchase. a hover bike so that I might find my floor in towns a little bit faster. I found everything but. I found glitch. I found uh yeah, I found like three or four different cultures and <laughs> and not uh Florin. You're killing me. I keep finding Avian too over and over and over. Now bring the two copper ore to Brave Chain, okay. I don't think I've searched the kitchen here, though. I will take their salves. Anything I can stew, I can make stew up a steak. I can also roast a ton of mushrooms, but I'm just... I don't need to. One of the things I might want to invest in sooner than later, uh, once I have the ability to, is a refrigerator to keep my food... Clean. So he's asking for stuff I can collect. One watering can. And done. Give the wooden watering can to Song Spike. And that's it. That was the whole chain. I had most of the ingredients I needed, so that gave me this reward bag, which had a two-hander Kallox Moon Cutter. Uh, a one-hander, actually. I said two-hander, but I lied. Oh, I didn't search your dungeon, either. A helmet. And another slower one-hander. I don't mind if I do. Help myself to everything. All right. Well, that was uh, that was another planet searched without real yields. I guess I do have cotton. I did start that. Um, he took my watering can though. He, uh, that was for the quest, so let me craft up another one. I just so happened to have one, which was convenient. Otherwise, I would have had to come back here and craft it up. Where did I get this campfire? All right, so here's my watering can. Let's go water our plants. They're not yet ready to eat harvest. And then, I'm going to jump down to the Ark and see if I can't afford a hover bike somehow. Selling all of my earthly possessions for hover bike. Okay, don't need this. Or the rope whip. As far as the two handers that I want, let's see 15 damage, 12 damage. Sell that. Shotgun grenade launcher, I'm going to sell as well because I liked the rocket launcher a little bit better. Uh, all these I can sell. Yeah, I'm going to have enough pixels when it's all said and done. I guess I'll go with the blink explosion. No, I like the Enju. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with blink explosion. So there's my choice. Sell that. All 
Alright. Eat a little roasted... Oh, no, that's seeds. Eat a little roasted carrot. Uh, I do have a bunch of manual manipulator modules. I was thinking of... Maybe increasing power next, again. But let's go ahead and buy a khaki-colored bike. And I'm going to buy an auto-chip as well. The auto-chips here uh, allow you to repair. Um, so these, these bikes here, uh, the one I just got, is... Hang on, that was supposed to be rope. Let me put that back. I apologize. And a flashlight. I want that on both. Alright, and... Watering can will be replaced by the bike. So, I'll just demo it here. But it allows you to quickly traverse terrain. But it does have a limited durability. And it will break down and require payment. And then, if you don't want it anymore, you can right-click on it to unsummon it. And it's uh, it's a good way to traverse flat planets, um, but really mountainous ones. You're going to have a really hard time trying to do the mountain climbs. It's going to be... You're basically going to destroy your bike and get nowhere. So, to recap, oh boy, uh, we found a little bit of cotton. That is all we did. I guess we bought a bike, too. Um, next episode, clearly, we're just going to try to find these Florin villages so that we can uh, find clues about the artifact. Unfortunately, I've made no progress thus far. Uh, it's been elusive. We might have to leave this system. We might have to jump to a new solar system. I don't know how many planets are left that are forested planets that are high likelihood of finding Florins. If you have any feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Adios.